Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer, eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. Before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Serkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Serkonos! Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece, hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? <laughs> And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> choices, choices. Of course, we're going to play as Corvo today. And to add to the confusion, I'm playing with the keyboard and mouse instead of the controller this time because someone asked for it. And I was like, ah, give it a shot. A legendary royal protector to the Empress and a figure of infamy from the time of the Rat Plague. Yes, Corvo Atano, we shall play as you. you are for a man of your age and how long had you hidden the mark of the outsider i expect it's a wonderful story i'll lock him in the empress's chambers and then i'll bring him to coldridge prison <laughs> until his trial my father lost it all sent me to the city watch one step above begging I think i had to take your orders corfo itano son of a zirconian tradesman Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lord Corvo, what happened? It'll be all, Captain Mayhew. Oh, now that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? There's a legend in the City Watch, the Empress's last resort, the safe room inside your daughter's chambers, is holding enough gold to buy an island. And they say this is one of the only two keys. throne room. Emily. Alrighty, sorry about that little cut. Um, my gods, yeah, so, keyboard and mouse. Keyboard and mouse. One of the good families. And now that he's helped the rightful empress take the throne. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke of Circonos. You'd be smart to remember that. Would I now? Alrighty, so, the only, uh, the major downside to my keyboard and moose is that I have a really clicky keyboard. Um, so, yeah, it'll probably get recorded at times. I'll try and keep it good anyhow. Letter from Advisor Helmswater. Now, we're going to go through all of this again because the beginning of the story, it was really cool seeing uh, the Duke there. I was like, I forgot he turned up at the beginning. So that was kind of cool. Uh, Empress, we face yet another murder. I cannot remain silent on this matter. Strange is not that all the victims have openly opposed you. If not strange, then oh so convenient. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Majesty? How can I be an advisor if you don't include me in these most sensitive of endeavours. I feel I must be the only person in Donald who doesn't know the truth about the Crown Killer. Don't leave me out in the cold. I remain your trusted servant and advisor, Deonara Helmswater. All right, fair enough. Um, now, I can't remember exactly, I mean, the early doors, when we played this as Emily, we, uh, ooh, we didn't do much looking around. Empress, after the Royal Protector Shakedown cruise, we'll launch the ISS Jasmine Coldwin just before the anniversary of your mother's passing, pending your approval, of course. On the platform, we'll have a bottle of King Street brandy tied to a long tether that you will release to swing out against the hull. What you say during the ceremony is, of course, up to you, but there are some ideas... Uh, uh, no, hang on, but here are some ideas intended to serve as food for thought. May a brisk wind hurry you to shores near, far, and fair. May you shelter your crew from the perils of terrible ocean. May you always sail for Gristol, true of heart, and homeward bound. Yours faithfully, Advisor 
main right. Alright, let's grab a little bit of this. Lovely. So, yeah, I mean, we can't get out through the door, obviously. Now, interesting things <laughs> is just, oh, key controlled. It's, it's weird, to say the least. I thought, uh, don't we have to open one of these? Yes. Very nice. So, kind of, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very cool. always has a way of turning sour. Just as soon as you get comfortable. Dude, remember how it looks now, because it's going to look a lot worse later on. Delilah took away the mark of the outsider. No more sorcery. But I can't believe Ramsay's a traitor. Uh, is Lady Emily all There's right? There's a coup underway. Emily is... She's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower. Maybe through Emily's safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for you. Get away and help Emily. I'm sorry, Captain Mayhew. Goodbye. Bye, me. I just realized she gives you your sword back, which is the one that killed her. Ooh. What is this? Audience request. Captain Mayhew, you don't know me, but you've got to tell the Royal Protector that I have urgent need of him. Uh, of his time, sorry. I'm carrying a message that has to be delivered face to face. Tell him I'm working with Anton Sokolov, <gasps> an old friend. Uh, all the boats are being sent away from the docks, but I'll delay as long as I can. Tell Lord Corvo to find me there. My ship is called the Dreadful Whale. Megan Foster. Yeah, we know you, friend. We know you. Right. So, quick nose around. See what else we can find. This time round. Oh, look at that secret room. What are the odds? Uh, I do wonder... Can we go cause some havoc with these guards at all? I'm not sure. J to read tutorial. I kind of know it, but let's let's do the tutorial anyhow. Lean by holding Alt. Okay, Q and E, W. Um, S, you can turn to original position. You can also lean around corners by Q and E. Lewin. Okay, fair enough. So we can just do that. Now I see. Now I can't remember how many of these guys there are in here. Tutorials on assassinations and takedowns. We are going to murder everybody, so you know. One night. Uh, I don't think <laughs> being uh, sneaky, sneaky with Corva. Sneaky, sneaky isn't my style, anyhow. In case you haven't noticed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm not too good at such things. <laughs> All right. Feel like we're accomplishing a little bit more this time. Now, if we could work out who's downstairs, I wonder if we could do a drop assassination on Matey. It is really nice knowing the mechanics of the game, as it were. There's a throne room. And there's the safe room. Now then, what I don't know is exactly who's down there. And without being able to get back up again real quick, although it looks like the stairway's over there in the other room. He is an easy kill. Um, assuming things go well, which they may not. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Something stinks around here. It's gonna be your my job to clean it up. Corpse, buddy. Very nice. <laughs> disloyal dogs. Yeah. Yeah, disloyal dogs. Bastards. Dare you. We've got to murder you all just in, in Emily's name or or something. They all deserve to die. Is that stealable? No, but it's a cool looking map. We saw that. In Karnaka? Yeah, so that's the way back up again. Lovely. Maybe I should just spin it. Pick a place to lick my wounds. I've got to regroup. Ah, oh, he sounds like Emily. Oh. Eliminate Mortimer Ramsey. Or knock out Mortimer Ramsey. How are we going to get in there? I don't remember having to do this before. Interesting. I suspect once we open the door, they're going to trigger and do stuff, so... With the throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be back when I have searched the royal chambers. 
assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. Oh, I'll yes. For you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh, this is exciting. Everything's changing. Yes. The natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, the cream of society. And very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. <laughs> Slute. Right. Let's uh, do things quickly here. Yeah, that was fast. I <laughs> can't believe we ran away without being heard. Spot of luck. Is this the Royal Protector? That's me. Uh, great. Tons of good stuff. All right, Monsieur Mortimer Ramsay. Hey, what happened here? Uh oh, yeah, people have uh, <laughs> possibly spotted a problem. There's nothing to do. You and Don't your own friend. Oh shit. Nope. Nope, they're all super alert now. I don't know... Uh, no, we don't really have anything. Do, 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 do. Kill or knock out Mortimer. Well, they all deserve to die. Now, this is our new interface. We have nothing. But we assigned stuff to keys down here, so that's going to be interesting. Um, bit of a problem here with the guards. Did they... Did they come out to him or not? It doesn't look like they followed him, so... Your guards are rubbish, mate. Could have been any one of us. I think. I'll find this butcher, I swear. Yeah. You may well do, friend. Now he's gonna be coming this way, so. I reckon if we hide out and just ninja him from behind once he's up here, that seems like a plan. Honestly, I have no idea what we did last time here. It's bizarre not being able to remember. Honest. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Have you found another corpse? Bastards. Yeah, you so have. Right, you're mine, buddy. I'm done with you. Proper job. Was for my oh, damn it. <laughs> Nothing will stop me from bringing you home, Emily. Darn in. I wonder what that was for. It was for something. New mission item. We know this. Yeah, we've got the Imperial Signet Ring at last. Mission clues. Yada, yada, yada. Eliminated him. Law and maps. I think we could probably... Oops. I think we could probably have a little bit more of a look around, you know. So we've got the Signet Ring. We can escape through the safe room. This we know. Can I drop down here without dying? Yeah, nice. We never really had much of a nose. Did we? After the fact. Let's see. Come on through, buddy. You know you saw something. Uh, 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 I don't know where you are. <laughs> okay, now, as far as I know, blocking in this is done with a control key, which is a bit weird. There were two guards in here. My transfer. I've got to get over to one of the other districts. Don't like this. Kind of pushing our luck here. This could be Super Ninja. Something felt wrong indeed, friend. Very curious. Oh, I pay for this, but I need to regroup away from Dunwall. Look yeah, at this place. Defense block is done with control. Yes, swah. This place is wrecked, guys. Ruined. Look at it. My God. I guess we can only Murdered go. Murdered for nothing more than their loyalty to Emily. 
ruthless. Yeah, it's uh, senseless it's... killing. <laughs> uh, well, Corvo, you know, cripes. Emily, I'll make this right. I promise. Oh, he's got such a gruff voice. He reminds me a little bit of. Um... Oh my god, nasty. Uh, reminds me a little bit of. Uh... Oh, get out. Miss Geralt. We'll have to get back to Geralt at some point. Uh, right, well, I think we're out of here. I don't think there's much else we need. Ah, no way. Watch over me. Grant me the strength I need. Ah, I thought we could steal it. Alright, cool. Well, I think we've thoroughly explored all of this. For the time being. I don't think there's anything else we can take. Are we into stealing paintings yet? I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, let's get out. Do some super cool sliding. Nice. <laughs> uh, what is this room while we're here? Oh, okay. We do have some stuff to steal. All right. A little bit more uh, money, cash, cash, money, money. I don't think there's much in here. I mean, I could be missing a ton of stuff. Also, we'll get to the end screen and it'll be like, yeah, you've missed everything in the world. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go do the thing. Sorry, love. It's a shame you're dead. I'm not happy about that, but hey, where's the button? It's over here. Anton Sokolov made this lock. Sweet. And where's the clothes? There it is. All about locking the door behind us. Definitely. Okay. Emily would fall asleep in here after the plague. Yeah, it is a cute place, eh? Nice bullets. We don't have a gun yet. Do we? No. Interesting. Uh huh. Treaties from the physical existence of that foreign realm. Yes. All the good stuff. Oh, even more. Uh, again, more of the same. Fantastic. All right. This could be handy. Yeah, it could. Imagine that. What about the blue stuff? Get the bullets. Ah, dudes, that's our stuff. Crown killer strikes again. No, we will go stop this person. Uh, Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle, notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Boyle recently wrote an opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her slipshod style of con governance and her willful neglect of duties. Authorities are convinced the Crown Killer is the culprit, given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. As Her Majesty's most outspoken adversary fall one by one to this notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is it now the duty of the Royal Protector to murder all who dare criticize at the throne? I suspect the Crown Killer is connected to Delilah's coup. He does love talking to himself, doesn't he? Bone charms? We know about bone charms. Whether or not we get around to crafting them this time, maybe? I don't know. The reserves won't help against Delilah, even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. God dang it. Well, we'll have that Don't ingot, though. That's not bad. Oh, man, look at the gold. It's superb. Weird. Didn't see that last time. Alrighty. Creepy pictures. I remember that. Very cool. Okay. Uh, there is other stuff here, of course. You, my beauty. Out into the world once more. How many people had forgotten this mask? Ah, oh, yeah. Z, Z, whoop, 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 whoop. Lovely. That's all good. Z for the spyglass, right? What else do we have? Crystal, Morley, Tivia, and Saconus, and there's Dunwall. Love it. Very cool. Anything else in here? Yeah. Mm, letter from Wyman. Emily, I didn't want to wake you this morning, but you will forgive me since we must uh, have said goodbye a hundred times yesterday night. Uh, and the only chance I get to see you with all your... Uh, what? The only chance I get to see you with your hair all whichever way is while you're asleep. As soon as the sun rises, you'll put on your Empress's face. Uh, it makes me happy that I know your real face, the one that laughs at our silly rhymes. I've forgotten completely who this Wyman guy is. I don't want to go back to Morley. But I'm needed there. I'll be four months before we see each other again. We'll be four months. I'll miss you. And yes, I'll bring you some white leaf tobacco for your hookah. 
Lord Corvo, if you're reading this uh, letter as per the Royal Protector's functions, know that I'm joking and perfectly aware that the white leaf tobacco is forbidden in Crystal. <clears throat> Take care, my dear Emily. Don't go falling from a rooftop. I love you, Wyman. Yeah, I totally forgotten about that. Love interest, as it were. More food, thank you. Nothing in there. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, we've got to go outside and do the thing now. Yes, done all streets. Alrighty. The long day in Dunwall. Delilah, uh, -la 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 -la. <laughs> Delilah and Duke Luca Abel have taken uh, the tower. Dunwall is no longer a safe place for you. Escape the city by, uh, by meeting with a boat captain down at the docks. Now, as I remember, this was a nightmare. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. You should, and we shall. Let's see. Ten bullets and a blade. That's all we've got. <laughs> Ten bullets and a blade. Oh. This is by and far probably my least favourite part of this entire game at the moment. Which is just getting through this ridiculous number of bad guys. Crazy. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We're actually stealing artwork. What a miracle. Paying attention to our surroundings somewhat. He says, I'm going to miss everything, of course. But uh, for now, it's all good. Let's see. Any other tools? All we've got is a Goran pistol. Some cashish. Lovely. Anything else? Close that lid. Anything behind it? Nope. Worth a look. Okay. <sighs> nice looking place, all in all. Dunwall. I've got to get out of Dunwall. Yeah, haven't you just? You can fall from a moderate height without taking damage. That's awesome. To the streets. You know, I have completely forgotten all of this already, which is quite entertaining. Which is good. I don't know that ship, but maybe the captain can help. Yes. Old Megan. Yeah, so we've got to end up going all the way down there. Doesn't seem to be any easy drop that aside, so it's going to make us go through the hoops, as it were. Yeah. Barbed wire equals no good. I'm sure if we touch it, we die. Well, not die, but it will hurt. Well, then, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's a fairly healthy start to our Corvo adventures. Keyboard and mouse. Certainly going to be entertaining. Way. Ooh. Just a little bit too far. Delilah turned Emily to stone. I will find a way to make her flesh again. See, what's interesting as well is we haven't been ex really explained in any detail as to why Corvo doesn't have his powers. Although, it did look like old Delilah sucked him out of him. Or sucked something out of him to mark the outside a blessing, as it were. During our confrontation. Hello. <sighs> Why is it the first guard I see outside is taking a piss? Come on! We've been here before, game. Alrighty, now I'm struggling to remember exactly what the layout here was. The Duke's men. I think this is the only guy here. As far as I recall, he seems to be fairly uh, oblivious to our presence right now. Nice. Traitorous uh, dog. Yeah. You tell him, Corvo. <laughs> so angry. And rightfully so. Dark bread. Mmm. Feel that roughness. Roughness? Roughage. Coursing through your system. Alright, guys. I think that's going to do for the first episode. What? We'll get into things again properly. In the streets of Dunwall. We'll get over to Megan Foster next time, I think. This is... Uh, oh god, I remember the struggle from last time. <laughs> yep. Yep. Same as it ever was. Listen One, up, two, three, four. 
Mm -mm. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Corvo Atano has apparently fled the tower. We've got to find him. That's it. You've got your orders. Spread out and find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn back now. You traitorous dogs. I mean, you traitorous dogs. Scumbags. Okie dokie. Well, guys. Ah. Uh, God. Like, coming back here is even better. But it's nice, actually, now that we know. If you watch the first part with Emily, it's kind of cool because we come back through all of this. That's why that building looks like the way it does when you return. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. Cool. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.